Before creating a mountain and landscape in a Gaia, you have to understand the train size, train uh, scale. For example, I create a mountain from here. And remember, for example, you are far from this uh, Iceland or this landscape. It's very huge. From where you can understand the size of this <coughs> landscape, I just delete the wizard from now, select it and delete it. We have a simple mountain node here. Uh, you can go to the builds for exporting that. You can right click and I will explain it. Mark for export and as you can see, directly export in a PNG. The most export when you want to export your landscape, you have two ways. You can export it as a PNG, RAW, or any 2D format, the high, high height map. Then you can uh, insert it in your 3D package, Cinema 4D, Unreal Engine, Blender, anything that you want. Or you can directly export mesh from this. If you select the mesh, everything is exactly the size that you uh, define here, export. But sometimes you export 2D image that you have to know something. Okay. In a build down here, you can train definitions. The train scale and height. You can understand it here. Uh, as you can see, we have a height of our first scale. Five kilometer. It's in a meter. Five thousand meter. From here to here is a five kilometer. For example, if you zoom in and you can make it a one kilo <clears throat> to understand it better. If it does not work because I'm recording, you can come here and force refresh to force it to refresh. And as you can see, we have a better quality. For example, a small dot here is a simple tree. It's very huge and big, five kilometer. You can imagine that. So this is on a scale of that. And uh, please uh, note that this height is a maximum number. It does not mean that uh, this peak is uh, 200 and uh, 2,600 meters. It's not here. It's something there. It's the maximum height of that. For defining the height of this peak, or you can define it here. For example, it's a height sample that you can click and define it there. <clears throat> okay. Uh, for defining the height, the tip of this mountain, you have to go to the properties of this mountain here, the properties of this node. And here with a clamp, with a clamp, you, I will explain all of them, but please note here, the clamp maximum, the clamp maximum, you can type any number here. For example, you want the height of this mountain be to uh, 300, oh, sorry, 300 meter, meter, and hit enter. As you can see, it's create on a percentage. It is proportional. It means based on your scale, based on your scale, this height is looks like this. Or for example, you can click in here and type 1000 meter enter. And as you can see, this is one kilometer height <clears throat> based on this scale. Nice. So come back to the build. So don't change the height of here. It's a maximum number. You can define the height. And when you export it, you can imagine that it's exactly true. Uh, I want to explain the, this real scale. This number, what, what is this number? For example, 2.4 meter per pixel. Okay, what does it mean? When you export a height map from your... <clears throat> landscape and you want to import another software you have to choose a resolution here for example this is in a standard resolution 1k 2k 4k 8k uh, these are for unreal engine for 4k for unreal engine this number 2k and 1k 
So it's different. You have to tint your uh, 3D. For Blender or other softwares, for example, 2K or 1K is because I'm in a demo or community version, you cannot go above 1K. Unfortunately, you have to purchase professional or enterprise version. <clears throat> so it's very important. When you select this resolution, this is a resolution. Please come here and type exact this number here the 1k hit enter and as you can see the real scale and uh, here it will change because it's a proportional Pro uh, proportionally change the uh, shape of the scale, scale of the landscape with that and as you can see the real scale changed to one meter per pixel it means one pixel because <clears throat> you are exporting to the image and the 2d image determined by pixel and it is a real board at a moment by meter so this is a relationship between these two parameters it means if you select any resolution here i tell you a simple way just type a number exactly here and hit enter it means each pixel in a 2d world is exactly one meter in a real world it means in one pixel, uh, we put one meter of our landscape in there. So if you select a higher resolution, of course, a higher resolution, you can uh, export more detail. For example, you choose 4K and for choosing 4K, type exactly the 4K number and it's contain one meter again nice so just a simple for better exporting your 2d map you can if you want to export exact number you can define it so if you right click and uh, click here it's the reset it's very huge and as you can see we for example, if we to go into the 1K, and here it's our scale. And as you can see, if you make your uh, scale larger, depend on the resolution and the uh, real scale, it means in one pixel, we can contain this number of meter here it's very bad the smaller number or one to one is the best so it's very simple if you change if i suggest 8k for example and type the number exactly here if you want to export exact number so it's depend on your uh it's not very uh, important you can uh, right click and choose your uh, landscape in this number and choose the resolution in this number it's not important but uh, you can define and as you can see this number is a nice and reasonable but you can come here and change the clamp to 100 percent or any number that you want for example, I want two kilometer height. But it does not go further than 100%. It's a clamp. And then in this case, you can come here and change the, change the height. Of course, you can change the height number here, depend on your uh, height scale ratio. And another important thing here is a range for exporting. The proportional is for exporting the mesh and uh, the height map. The more quality is high quality the raw version it's depend on your 3d package unreal engine or uh, your 3d 
uh, software. So in most cases, we don't need exact the size of these, num uh, these numbers because uh, we just export and create uh, this, this software for uh, artists, not exactly which height and which scales. Because these softwares uh, can export uh, tile. It's very nice. You can export uh, the tile or I think it's bug. It's a tile and it, you, it's, it can export a tile and you can have a very uh, big tileable landscape. So these numbers are not very important, but you can change them and right click, click on this and reset it. And you can you can have your mountain. You can change your height and parameter by your eye, and if you satisfied, you can export it. Simple, you can change your resolution at a higher number and export it and enjoy in your 3D package software. Xenon 4D or Unreal Engine. Because this, uh, if you export your meshes, it has million and million polygon. Of course, you have to use it in, in Unreal Engine. If you import your 3D Max Cinema 4D, I think it's crashed because it's very high dense landscape. It's very big. You are looking far from the sky. For example, here it's a car. The little car is here. Don't forget. It's a five kilometer. Look at here. So the train definition is here. So if you want to uh, export exact number, type exact resolution here. If you want to uh, determine, oh, okay, exactly. I want to export one meter to one pixel. You can do that. Or if you want to export just artistic things, don't bother yourself with this number. Just design, export, and enjoy at a high resolution. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.